Hello and welcome to another of our Photoshop tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the levels control and how to use it to correct exposure and to do some colour correction as well. The best way to explain the levels control is to show it in use. So the image I've got here was taken with a 2 megapixel compact camera and as you can see it's quite uh, washed out. This is due to the automatic settings on the camera um, so this needs a little bit of exposure correction. As per usual I will take a copy of the background layer so as to preserve the original image. That way if we make any mistakes we can always come back again. And I'll pull up the levels dialog. Now this can be pulled up by c pressing Control L or Command L on the Macintosh. Now what you're looking at here is a histogram of the image. The histogram shows the tonal range of the image. Uh, it goes from pure black here to the absolute lightest, the pure white here. And this represents the amount of information um, in the image at each of the tones. So uh, the darker end of this image has got very little information. There's a, quite a lot of information on in the mid-tones here and at the very top end of the scale there's no information at all. Now if the histogram doesn't reach the end points here and here then this means that the image doesn't contain the maximum tonal range. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our end points so that they coincide with the uh, end of the information of the image here making it so that the image does contain the maximum tonal range. Now these endpoints are movable, I click on them and drag them. Uh, this is the lighter one and this is the darker one. I move them in like that. You can possibly see the image changing in the background there and I'll press OK. I'll just show you what this has done. It's taken it from that and now I'll turn on this layer again that we just changed to that. So let me go through that again. I'm going to uh, turn off this layer here. So we're just left with the original image. So this time instead of uh, duplicating the background layer and applying the levels to that layer uh, I'm going to create an adjustment layer. Now this is a non-destructive way of editing a layer. Uh, I'll press on the adjustment layer button here and I'll choose levels. Now this brings up exactly the same dialog but it puts it on its own layer here. This way we can turn it on and off and we can see how it will affect all of the layers underneath it. Uh, the beauty of this is that we can go back and edit it at any point. So. As before, I shall move the end point across to coincide with the end of the image information and I'll move the starting point, the black point, over a little bit as well. Now you might notice that there's another point in the middle here which we can move. Uh, this represents the mid-tones. Now I move this and it will compress the uh, lighter end of the scale and here and it's compressing the lower end of the scale. Basically, it's giving us more or less contrast to our image. Um, sorry, in fact, the only thing you really have to do when working with levels is to make sure the histogram starts and finishes at the end of the image, i.e. move the endpoints, and then adjust the midtones until you get the desired effect. So in this case, I'll move them to about there. This is slightly too much, slightly exaggerated, but it's good for the example and I'll press OK. Now, if we have a look at that, uh, I can turn this uh, adjustment layer on and off so we can compare with the original. I turn it off and that's the original. I turn it back on and there we have uh, the processed layer. Now, as I mentioned before, the levels control can also be used to correct color. So let's get another image here that we can use to show you that. 
uh, once again, uh, uh, another image taken with the 2 megapixel compact camera on automatic settings. So as before, we will uh, work with an adjustment layer. So we can go back and change it later. And as with our last image, the same principle applies. We can move the end and starting points of the histogram to extend the tonal range. So when I'm doing this, I'm uh, up here it says the channel, which is RGB, red, green and blue. Now this is affecting the image as a whole. So I'll just undo that that I just did. Now, um, if I click here, I can see I can use the RGB, which is all channels together, or I can choose any of the individual channels to work on. So I'll look at the red one. You can see there, it's quite a lot of red there. Green one. And the blue one. So to do a, a typical color correction, uh, I'll go through each channel and I'll close it up here to make sure that each color uses a full tonal range. Now it'll look a bit strange until we've actually finished all three colors, but I wouldn't worry about that. There we go. And so. Okay, and there we have it, a uh, quick and dirty color correction. Take the, in, the adjustment layer out, so we can see the difference. Okay, uh, the image had a sort of green tint to it before, that seems to have disappeared a bit. Now if you find the image does have a, a slight tint to it, you can actually go and adjust the, the uh, mid-tones of uh, one or two of the individual color channels on the Levels dialog. Let me show you. I'll bring up the Levels here. And I'll go to the blue channel, for instance. And I'll just move this midpoint here. And you'll see over here it becomes quite blue and there it becomes the opposite. So with yellow being the opposite of blue, uh, this movement on the blue channel here of the midtones will actually um, give you what what was what is known as a, a cold or a warm image. There it's cold and there it's warming up. Uh, you can just adjust the midpoint of one or two of these images. There we go. Let's make it a little bit warmer. I think we'll keep it to about there. Uh -huh, that's a good point. And I can also go in and adjust the red channel, for instance, if I wanted to. So uh, the red channel and its opposite, which is cyan. Here it's very red. And here it's the opposite. Just to give it a bit more definition about there. I can go in and edit these by hand, just move them around until, until I get the desired effect. Okay. Well, that's about there. Let's have a look what we've got here. Okay, so it's changed the image from being that to being that. In the next tutorial, um, We'll be taking a look at the curves control, which will give us uh, a little bit more contrast in our images. And then in the tutorial after that, we'll be looking at combining both levels and curves. Okay, well, thank you for watching this tutorial, and uh, we hope you'll join us for the next one.